Hey guys, welcome back to the Barndo channel. We're here today in Henderson, Texas to show you guys a 3,100 square foot barn dominium that we have going up out here. This is a three full bedroom, two full bath uh, barn dominium. We also have an office and a half bath in this floor plan with a big open vaulted living and kitchen area. We have uh, full size porches on the front and back. And then also you'll see we have a three car garage uh, that is attached with a breezeway to the side of the house. A lot of really, really neat features in here. This is gonna be a beautiful barn dominium when we're done. We're through with the sheetrock phase, getting ready to start trim. So we wanted to come in and show you guys the layout of this particular barn dough so that we can come back and show you the finished product a little bit later. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that now. We are now over 10,000 subscribers and we thank you guys for that. Uh, if you have a question or comment that you'd like to leave, for us or something that you'd like to see in a future video, let us know. You can leave that in the comment area below. Of course, you can check us out on social media. Our TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook are 1845 Barnuminiums. And then our website is 1845barnuminiums.com. You can request a quote or request some information from us on how to get the process started on your dream home if you'd like to. So let's head inside and take a look at this 3,100 square foot barn dominium in Henderson, Texas. All right, guys, so we head up the steps here and come in the front door. First thing you're going to notice when we walk in here is just big, open, vaulted ceiling. You can see on the back wall there is the kitchen area, so I'm going to kind of make my way around back there and then show you the view from back there. So we've got our master wing over here, which is really, really large. We're going to walk through there in just a second, but just a huge master wing. Now. We've got a secretary nook right here, which is an interesting story. And we'll see when we get over into the master bath, we had to move some things around a little bit to make space for that secretary's nook. And then when we go back here, we're gonna have large island right here in the center of the kitchen. And of course, we'll have cabinetry, stove, oven, and everything here along the walls. You'll have your kitchen sink there with the triple window above to enjoy the view and the sunshine outside. You've got your exit there to the back porch. And then we do have a very large pantry space here. Be a lot of shelving in here. I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna put countertop in there or cabinetry or if we're just going to do shelving we'll find that out when we come back later and another thing they did here a little adjustment we made to the floor plan was we put the mechanical room here with the pantry as well so we've got our AC or HVAC coming in there and then as we pan around I'm standing where the island is you can see this big open area here Lots of light coming in, those fixed windows up top and beside the French doors. So a huge area here, good comfortable space for hosting. And we're gonna head over here and I'm gonna take you through the master wing and show you that first. So as we head over here into the master bedroom, you can see lots of windows here, large master suite. Lots of windows here, lots of light coming into this room. And if you notice, a little something different about this build is we did a zip system build on this particular barn door. One of the things you do not see are the 12 inch window seals here because we did indeed do a zip system build. We used zip sheeting on the exterior and then framed with that zip board. Now as we come over in here into the master bathroom, we will have tub here in front of the shower. You can have a large walk-in shower here. You do have a pony wall there. So we'll have glass walls there for the walk-through shower. And what you'll see here is you have single vanity here on the right side with some countertop and cabinetry space. 
On the left side, a little bit different, we have the back wall of that secretary area in the living. So what the homeowner decided to do here was, you know what, if I have to make room, let's put the other vanity in the master closet. So something you'll rarely see, a little interesting about this particular build, we do have a large walk-in closet. That's not anything new, but if you look right here, you'll see there's another vanity with countertop. So just a little something different to customize what was needed for this particular layout and what the homeowner felt like was functional and again, what they needed for their floor plan. Now we will have a door directly into the laundry area. Got your washer and dryer area there. You've got a door here that's going out to the breezeway connected to the three car garage. And as we swing back around, we'll have lots of room in here for shelving, cabinetry, and then it's gonna take us directly into the kitchen. So coming from the garage, you'll come through the laundry here and then into the kitchen area. And again, I'm gonna pan around and show you. So when you walk in from the garage, this is the view that you get to see. Beautiful. So then we're gonna head across the floor plan here and go on over to the guest wing and show you what we've got over here. So we do have a hallway here in this layout, if I take a left here, we've got a large linen closet, really, really big hall closet here. We'll be able to put a ton of shelving in there. And then as we come into bedroom number two, you can see again, we have a lot of light coming in. Three large windows in this room. A lot of storage in this closet as well. A little bit bigger than a standard size. That's not your standard five by three closet there. We do have a pocket door for access there. And so as we head back around, if you notice the windows in these rooms are six foot tall windows. Now I'm gonna show you this. We don't have any electric here yet. I'm gonna to try to show you this the best I can. What we've got in this bathroom, we do have our single vanity here. And then we have more room for cabinetry there and countertop. And then as we slide over in here, you can see we have our toilet area. We have a pony wall there and we'll have full-size shower in this bathroom as well. As we turn and head back down the hallway, we're going to come down here to bedroom number three. Not quite as big as bedroom number two, but still a good size, full-size bedroom. One large window here, and then more of a standard size closet still can be used for a lot of storage of course in all of our closets we'll have hanging rods shoe rack shelving and then whatever the customer however they want to customize that closet and now at the end of the hallway here for a little bit of privacy we have an office space Lots of light in here as well. Same size windows. Good view out of both of those windows there. And then you can see we've got half bath here with single vanity and a toilet there. And then letting some natural light in here with the window. So again, we wanted to put this office at the end of the hallway back here give some privacy and some quiet space to be able to work from home. And then when you come out of the hallway, 
you walk into our large living area again. I wanted to show you those fixed windows up top. And so that's going to kind of wrap us up. I'm going to head out the back door here and just show you, give you a quick look at the back porch area. We do have full size porches on both the front and the back. So it's going to be a really, really nice build when we're done. Got our soffit sheeting already in. And I have people ask me this question quite a bit. You know, how, what do we do for lighting here? You can see we have some recessed lighting in that porch area. And we do have electrical as well. So if a homeowner tells us they want ceiling fans on their porch, we take care of that as well. We want to customize your home as much as we can to suit your needs. And so we try to make sure we cover all of the customizations and everything you'd want. Now something that is unique, a little bit unique, different than other builds that we've done. And part of the reason why we wound up doing the zip system build on this particular home is that our homeowner told us that they wanted their sheeting to run horizontally instead of vertically. So in order to accommodate that, which is fine with us, but in order to accommodate that, we shifted over to a zip system style of build. So this home is going to be a little bit unique for us, a little different than some of the other ones that we do, but it has turned into a beautiful barn dominium. And we will be coming back and showing you guys once we get some cabinets installed, once we get this thing coming together, we'll come back in and show you guys what it looks like. And then of course, we'll do a final completed home tour of this barn dominium. So we're gonna head out the front door and wrap this thing up. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up our tour here in Henderson, Texas today. Again, we're taking a look at a 3,100 square foot barn dominium, has three bedrooms, two full baths with office and a half bath also. Uh, we have a three car garage connected to the home with a breezeway and then full size front and back porches. A little bit different build for us. We decided to go with a zip system build because of the horizontal uh, paneling on the outside. And so it's just a little bit different. We wanted to show you guys a different look from 1845 Barn Dominiums. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do that now. We are now officially over 10,000 subscribers. Thank you for that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment area below. We'd love to hear from you guys. You can check us out on social media, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Those are 1845 Barn Dominiums as well. And then of course our website. If you or anybody you know has any plans to get started on their dream home within 90 miles of Hallsville or College Station, Texas, you can go to our website, 1845barnominiums.com and click on request a quote and send us some information. We would love to talk with you and show you how to get the process started with 1845 Barn Dominiums. Thank you for watching this week. We'll see you again next time.